Mykonos, Greece. Woo. Hey guys, this is day eight on the Celebrity Ascent in the Mediterranean, the best of Greece and the Mediterranean cruise. So, And we had my favorite excursion today. Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Kelly. And we're JK, JK Cruising. Cruising. did an authentic Greece cooking class. A Meconian spitty cooking class. Yes. And if you are ever in this area, I highly, highly recommend it. Not only will you get some great food at the end of the class, because you do eat what you prepare, but you will actually learn a lot. Yeah. I and learned a lot. Like the different techniques of the way they measure. Some of the ladies learn to measure a certain way, salt and pepper and those types of things. And, and you learn the difference between a fe female and a male bell pepper. That's right. How you can clarify if one pepper is male or female pepper? Yeah, and we learn how to make proper tzatziki. <clears throat> of all things, I think that... That was worth it. That was worth it. Like, yeah. knowing how to make proper tzatziki sauce is, is mind-blowing. And you'll be surprised how simple it really is. Yeah, and she gives you the recipes at the end of the class, and we've actually made the tzatziki sauce <laughs> a couple of times since we've been home. Yep. And it's so good. It turns good. out perfect, yeah. Yep. Because they don't have plenty of seeds. The second rule... We never wash the skins of the cucumbers. I never wash them. I will take them out, I will not use them. But we never wash the cucumber, why? Because the cucumber, it's 85% water within skin. If you will wash it, you add water. And then for anybody, it's not so easy to squeeze it. For this reason, we never wash the skins of the cucumber. Now, with your fillers that you have in front of you, you must take out the skin of the cucumber in this box. So, the key to great tzatziki sauce is getting all the water out of the cucumber. Yes. Squeeze the cucumber until there is no water left in the cucumber. Yep. Get it all out. Yeah. So Teta was our host and teacher. This was actually in her house, which was just simply beautiful. Yep. I mean, it was, it was a gorgeous house. She had this cooking glass on her outdoor patio. Um, and we had plenty of room. We probably had 25 people in this cooking class. Um, and there was a couple of extra little guests, the little turtles that were so cute. <laughs> um, but we all took turns. She would call people up and we all took turns getting hands on. So our, um, our menu, so we had the beef with tomato sauce and orzo. We had stuffed tomatoes and peppers, which I think is what you helped make. Mm -hmm. And then we had spinach pie. We also learned the correct way to work with phyllo dough. Um, she also served a salad with cucumber, tomato, feta, onions. Yeah, like it a was, Greek salad. Like it was Greek so salad. good yeah. and so fresh. <laughs> she was kind enough to send us on with printed copies of all the recipes and like i said we've used those several times since our cruise and they are great she yeah. does a great job and she does this cooking show cooking class what did she say four times a day seven days a week yep. 365 days a year yep so she's a busy busy woman Sure. So after our after our bus dropped us back off at the pier, we just decided to walk around the town. We ended up getting distracted when a couple of ladies told us about a windmill at the top of the hill. And if we wanted great pictures, that was a perfect spot. 
So we ended up hiking up to the top of the hill, hiking. We took the stairs all the way up to the top of the hill. And they were not wrong. I mean, that was just a perfect yeah. picture opportunity. And the little windmills are so <clears throat> cute. I've never yeah, seen they, anything like those. A, a lot of people were asking how they work. And what they do is they take a piece of cloth. It's like a triangular piece of cloth. And they roll it up when they don't want the windmill to activate. And then they unroll it um, and then tie it to the opposite side. And it creates this sort of triangle, like a, sail. Like a blade or a mm -hmm. sail of the... Of the um, um, of that windmill and made the made made the mill go round. So that was how it worked. Pretty cool. So another interesting point we learned there is that the skeleton of each house had to be painted white. No ifs, ands, or buts. Yep. Only a church could have red or blue roofs. Yep. The red ones were private churches owned by family and only used by the family. And the blue roofs were public churches for everybody to, to use. So yeah. today we had dinner in the main dining room. And it was Jody's birthday on the cruise, so he got a special dessert. Yep. And let me tell you, I was actually impressed with Celebrity because when they brought Jody's dessert, the guy next to us kept insisting that he wanted that dessert. And the waiter went and got it for him. Yep. I mean, anything for their for their uh, cruisers. Dessert was great. Yeah. So, yeah, it was really good. Probably, I think they... probably the best dessert of the cruise. Yeah, it was good. So tonight was Roy Tan and Savannah Smith uh, singing, and we had seen both of them uh, on a different cruise. So we took an early bedtime and called it a day. Yep, we sure did. It was a good day. Yeah, it was, it was actually when I first booked the excursion for a cooking class, I had my doubts, but it was actually one of the best excursions we've ever done. Yeah, if you guys get to go on an excursion, if you're first of all, if you get to go to Mykonos, and second, if you get to go on an excursion or a land tour, and it includes Teta and her Maconian Spitty and doing a cooking class, it's worth Book your it. money. Book, Book it. it. It's worth Absolutely. your money, Dano. Book it. So um, it's it's really good. I would highly recommend. Her, she's super funny, super smart, clearly um, a woman that knows how to get things done yes. for herself and for others. And um, she has a good time doing what she's doing and she really enjoys it. You can tell it and that comes out in the class and it comes out in the way she it interacts with in her guests and it comes out in the food. Anyway, remember, get out there, go cruising, like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. All right, Bye. see you next time. Bye.